Well, hello again, folks. It is that time of the year again. It is time for garage sales, yard sales, and auctions. I was at an auction just the other day and came home with a few boxes of stuff. I bought a toolbox full of tools, along with a couple of other things that I will show you here. Don't worry, I will spare you the going through and showing you everything in here. I'm only going to show you the highlights. I did come across some really cool stuff, though. A lot of it I have not even seen yet so i will be seeing it for the first time just like you will be and that looks like high speed tool bits and that's what it is and there's a lot of them really cool cut off tools brand spanking new never even been used different sizes have not been sharpened or anything yet these are just the raw tools which is nice because i need to practice my sharpening skills and I need something to practice on and it's a lot better getting them for really cheap than it is paying top dollar for them. Another little box here. That oh, looks like a Morris. Yeah, it looks like a Morris. Well, I guess not. I thought it was a Morris taper adapter, but it is not. I don't uh, really know what that is, but it's made in Poland and I can tell you this. I don't know what it is about uh, Poland or that area of the world. They make some damn nice machine tooling stuff. So when you see something made in Poland, grab it. Bunch of little boxes of something. Oh, look at that. Brand spanking new. Never even been used. These are reamers. Really nice. Looks like some other type of reamer here. I don't exactly know what that is, but it looks like it has not even been used ever. Lots of little boxes of stuff here. Oh, cutting tools. Look at that. Little boxes of lathe cutting tools. So I will be able to, hopefully that's the size I need. If not, I'll just throw it up on eBay and sell them. Got a handful of boxes of them. Some of them are not even opened yet. Huh. Wonder what the guy used that for. That actually looks pretty expensive. Thermometer for something. Let's get that low. I got all excited for a minute. I was in when I was at the auction. I opened up the toolbox to see what was in it, and I saw this, and it's a Starrett micrometer. And until I looked at it and saw that it is totally trashed, you can kind of see that it's bent there. So that will never be used or work again, so that'll go inside the junk box. I've got a live center with a Morris Taper 2, which is what my lathe takes is Morris Taper 2, but unfortunately this is all froze up. I think I might be able to get that working. I'll soak it and see if I can make that work again. A chart for decimal equivalents. Those are always handy to have in your toolbox. Another reamer. It looks like go no go gauges or something, possibly. Must be what that is. And it looks like, not sure, a center for something. And a couple of starter bits. All right, let's move on to box number two. I did see these and I took the liberty of looking them up. These are Norton sharpening stones. I've got a couple of mediums and one fine. And it goes to a sharpening system and these cost probably about 30 bucks a piece new. So those are nice flat sharpening stones. Extreme pressure lube. I don't know what that is. I'll have to check it out. Although I have a feeling it was probably frozen. It looks like it was all expanded. I may wind up tossing it out. I don't know what these are. They were covered in a bunch of grease but look like collars for something if you know what those are let me know in the comments oh look at that that is an optical center punch one of those deals you uh, look through the eyeglass here and line it up and then replace the eyeglass with your center punch nobody really uses those anymore but at least I got one if I want it I don't know what this is either Maybe it's an alignment block of some type. I have no idea. And I'm going through all this stuff that I have no idea what it is. I don't know what that is either. Probably something for micrometers or something to 
hold it in place. I've got a dead center here. Looks like a Morris taper too. And look at that, that is a big one. And a nice machinist vise. Well, that's another uh, Morris taper too, brand new uh, dead center. Looks like a magnifier. Various set screws. Looks like a pin vise or something. Very tiny taps. That might come in handy. I don't know what, oh. Diacam. I don't know if you ever heard of this stuff. It's the stuff you use to lay out on a piece of metal and then scrape across it so you can see uh, where you need to make your cuts or make your holes. And it was wrapped in this. And if this is correct, I don't know if that will be any good anymore. Look at that, 1977. I always get a kick out of this stuff when you buy used things from people and you look through the papers that come with them and uh, you see that place is not even in business anymore. Small little drills made in Japan, so it must be uh, pretty decent. Who knows? It says Great Neck. It doesn't sound like a great company, but we'll see. On the next box. Okay, it looks like we got another couple of really nice machinist vice here. Ah, more uh, more lathe bits. And these are sharpened this time, so it's kind of interesting to see what they do. See how they cut. What in the world is? Ah, okay. Thread triangles for measuring your thread depth. Huh, we'll have to try that out, see if it works. Another mystery box. And more lathe tools, cool. Last mystery box, let me guess, this thing weighs a ton, so it's got to be, oh, no, not lathe tools. Look like dog tags, I don't know, I bet I know what that is. You know, put that on a drawer pound in a couple of uh, fasteners, use some type of, uh, what do they call those things? That you, anyway, the things you hold on there and pound them, lettering and numbering you put on there, you can uh, use them to identify your what's inside the drawer. Don't know if I'll ever use that, but now I hope that you don't think that this is just uh, like uh, being braggadocious or I'm putting it in your face with these things. Mainly, why I'm doing this is because I like I like to look at what people buy at auctions when they buy things at auctions. I think it's interesting, it's entertaining to watch. If you've ever watched a Mr. Pete video, I will put a description in down below for his channel. He will do that when he goes to auctions or garage sales and he finds good stuff. He will come back and make a video out of it. I always get a charge out of watching those videos. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but Mainly, I'm doing it because you can see the types of tools you can get. If you need tools, it's a great place to get tools. You can outfit your toolbox for a hell of a lot less money than you can if you bought this stuff new. Here is a standard for testing your micrometer, three inch standard. Now those things sell for about 30, 40 bucks if you buy those new. Micrometer holder might come in handy. Oh, look at that. A fly cutter. That baby looks like it's just about new. Very good shape. Very cool. That will definitely come in handy. A little tiny vise to hold jewelry is what I think that is. Those will come in very handy for small work. Uh, let me tell you the reason I bought this toolbox. Because of this right there. I saw that and I decided I'd bid on it. And I got really lucky. I'm going to look this thing up and then I'll bring you back. Man, did I get lucky on this. Holy Hannah. This is from a company called Albrecht. This is made in Germany. And if you don't know what this is, this is a 
something used if you put really, it's a drill chuck, but it's made for very, very small drill bits. So you can, it's a, like a sensitive drill for drilling out material. You hook this up into your mill or your drill press and you hang onto it here and you slowly guide your work, the drill bit into the work and you can really have, it's really sensitive. You can feel exactly when the drill bit is gonna start catching or if it's gonna break, you can back off of it. These things sell for about 200 bucks online. And I have been looking for one of these Debating should I buy one? They're kind of expensive. So when I saw this inside the toolbox, when they started the bidding for the toolbox, my hand shot up. Although I did wait, and it's worth the wait because they started it out at $200. Then they went down to $100, and I was almost going to shoot my hand up. They went down to 50 bucks. My hand shot up and no one else bid on this toolbox. I got this whole entire toolbox for 50 bucks. That, if they pulled this out and had people bid on this by itself, I would have bid $100 on this thing. That is worth the cost of admission right there. And a nice, another nice little thing that happened, there's a couple of guys standing there when I got this toolbox, and it was a crappy toolbox. I probably would not have used it, which is the reason I sold it to this guy. I'll put a, a uh, picture or video up to take a little picture of this toolbox. I don't think it was a very, it looked to me like a cheaply made toolbox. The door is barely opened. But anyway, this guy uh, wants to buy the toolbox and I'm going around about it. I didn't know if I wanted to sell it or not, but he hemmed and hawed and went back and forth and he agreed to buy it for $20. Then another guy was there and there was a little tiny hammer you used for making um, jewelry. And I knew I probably wouldn't use that. And I think they were not very much. You know, I did come back home after the auction and see if I got screwed or not. And they sell them that exact hammer that I had. They sell for $10, $15. I sold to this guy for five bucks. So basically I got $25 back immediately at the auction. So I paid, paid basically 25 bucks for all this stuff. And that is definitely worth it. A lot of times if you're at auctions, that'll happen if you buy a lot, a big lot or a big pile of something. You'll have people standing around wanting to pick it. They want to buy just one thing from you. And if you want to sell it, that's actually a good way to recoup some of your money. On to the next item. Reamers, reamers, so hell won't have them. I believe these are all about the same size. In this box, I believe these are like half inch or so. Some of them are in good shape. Some of them are in not such good shape. I will probably get rid of the ones that are in not good shape. These are three quarter inch. And I got a whole box of adjustable reamers. I have never used an adjustable reamer before, but I will uh, certainly see how these work. This one doesn't even look like it's hardly been used. Cool. Item next. Well, we've got the stuff that I stood around for. And let me tell you, I worked for these. I stood in one spot watching this auction, watching these things come up for bid, and a few other things that I bid on but didn't win. I stood in one spot for six hours without moving. No water, no food, nothing. I stood there waiting for these things to come up. And this one is a dial indicator. These are all dial indicators. This one is a Starrett. This one is in excellent condition. It's the type that's got the little plunger in the back. That thing I picked up for 35 bucks. Looked it up when I got home. They sell for over 300 if you buy it brand new from Starrett. Now these are central tool. These are pretty decent. They're not as good a quality as a Starrett, but they work pretty well. They've got the magnetic base. And this one is the one I really wanted. They actually sold these two in one lot. It was one of the last ones that went up. This one is the plunger type that I'm going to be using with my lathe. And this one is another one where the plunger is in the back. And this one is a little stiff. That one needs to be cleaned up. These went in one lot and I bid 20 bucks and the other guy who was bidding against me stopped bidding. So I got both these dial indicators for 20 bucks. And there it is, the first 
auction of 2019. Hopefully there will be other auctions. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this video. If you want to see more of this types of videos, please give me a thumbs up. If you don't like this type of video, give me a thumbs down. Leave a comment if you recognize anything in here that I didn't know what it was and you know what it is. You can maybe help out a little bit. That would be greatly appreciated. Maybe I will do a video if you guys want. Let me know in the uh, comments below. If you want me to do a video on how to buy used tools at auctions like this. For me, I love the hunt. I love just hunting for this stuff and finding a deal like I did on this. It really helps to populate the toolbox, get my tools around here so I don't have to pay a bloody fortune for tools. Until next time, happy hunting!